Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to this session. I'm delighted to uh, introduce uh, Brian German, a product manager at Optimic. A lot of you guys know Optimic, but what you will hear today is about some of the really interesting applications that Optimic is working on, especially on printed interconnects and RF devices for high frequency applications. We'll hear about RF microwave circuits, uh, 3D and 2.5D ICs, conformal multilayer circuitry, and so on and so forth. So before further ado, I give the stage to Brian. So Brian, it's all yours now. Yes, thank you, Kasha. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. Uh, as Kasha said, my name is Brian German. I'm the product manager for Aerosol Jet uh, um, at Optimic. Uh, my contact information is on the screen. So if you're interested or have any follow up questions on what I talk about today, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, this information is also on my speaker page. Just a little bit about who Optimec is. Um, for those of you who don't know us, um, we are um, a capital equipment manufacturer uh, based out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. We have five sites globally and um, about 500 installations um, around the world right now, uh, 125 employees privately held and uh, growing. Um, we have two primary technologies, um, uh, lens, which is a metal additive um, printing technique where we feed powder into a laser melt pool for part repair, and um, aerosol jet, which is what we're here to talk about today, <laughs> um, which is used for printing antenna um, uh, multi layered circuits onto conformal uh, three dimensional objects and printed interconnects for packaging applications primarily. So we're, we're kind of a unique player in the added manufacturing space in that we print wildly different materials and um, uh, you know, serve many, many different markets, everything from healthcare to um, you know, gas turbine repair. Um, a little bit about uh, aerosol jet technology, uh, just a high level overview. So we take uh, conductors, dielectrics, um, semiconductor materials that are dispersed into inks and we aerosolize them and print them. And uh, through focusing um, the beam of aerosol with uh, nitrogen, we are able to demonstrate features down to 10 microns and as thin as 100 nanometers in open atmosphere. And we're able to print these onto uh, conformal structures like you see on the right-hand side of the screen. Um, you know, some of the benefits, lower material cost, design freedom, and we build this into capital equipment, um, three, four, and five axis machines and OEM print modules that can be integrated for a wide variety of applications. At a high level, the, uh, the printing technology, as I said, we, we take these nanoparticle inks, we generate a mist of two to five micron droplets, carry them down to the print head with a high purity nitrogen and introduce a sheath gas um, that focuses the beam through a nozzle. And then uh, this allows us to print onto the part, as you can see in the CFD simulation, this, this is the essence of, of everything that we do um, to be able to create discrete features. And then we, we um, it's a vector printing process. So we drive it around uh, using motion control and um, you know create uh, structures on the surface. Um, because of this, uh, ability to jet the material onto the surface, we can be at a very high standoff distance uh, or variable standoff distance without changing the beam width. And this allows us to print onto oblique surfaces um, and you know have a lot of control over line width uh, as well as the um, uh, you know feature shape and line quality as a result of changing the process parameters. Uh, so we package this into what we call our printed interconnect solution, which is, you know, um, really focused on semiconductor packaging, but we've adapted it to RF devices. Um, well, I mean, it's, it's applicable to both, but, but the majority of the work that we're going to showcase today is, is around um, applying this for RF devices. You can see here, this is stack die configuration. This video is real time. So we're essentially making uh, the equivalent of H stitch bonds every 850 milliseconds or so. Um, and why do people like this? Uh, we can make more active use of the silicon um, by shrinking the pad size, moving them closer together, using shorter conformal wires that have lower inductance, leading to smaller, thinner packages with higher performance for RF devices. Um, if you have any questions about the materials that we're able to print, please reach out to me, but we're focused mostly on silver, copper, and gold for metals. Um, spin on polyimids from the semiconductor industry, as well as UV acrylics and adhesive materials, and we print 